See what I'm saying, people? The struggle is real in Florida when it comes to pollen. It's real. Freaking cars and embarrassing. This has to get washed. I'm not the only one though. This time of the year, it's a huge problem. I met up with my group partner again, got some stuff, got some stuff settled. Now it's time to go home. I gotta finish a uh, homework assignment real quick. It was a little complicated to get started, but I think I got it figured out. I really want a monster. Hey, buddy. Sunbathing. Well, the plan is to wash the car at some point. But I got a call from the computer shop saying that they're having problems with one of the places that they do work for, they do server work for, and they're having issues. And it's a really weird issue, so they called me and asked me if I could fix it. So now I gotta head over to the shop, remote in, and see what I can find. See now if I had a skateboard, well I have a skateboard, but if I had an electric skateboard, I would ride the electric skateboard to the shop. Because it's pretty close. Like really close. I would definitely be riding the skateboard because it is a gorgeous day. It's a perfect day to be riding an electric skateboard. You'll be clean soon, baby, I promise. Soon. No, I quit. You see all the gray hairs now? Well, that was the stupidest problem ever that they could have possibly had with that server. It wasn't even a problem with the server. There was miscommunication somewhere where, pat, where a username and a password was configured for the user. And it's been the same username and password for a very long time. But somebody else told her that it was a different username to log into a folder for permission, uh, for authentication reasons. She was using the wrong username. So she keeps calling, well not us, but she keeps calling the computer shop blaming us saying that we've we've messed something up that we need to fix it blah 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 so every time we would go in it's like it's working just fine i don't understand what the problem is because we were using the proper username and then she would go on her merry way and use a different username even though we configured a username for it and people i swear she still thinks it's our fault but we but we made sure it's very clear that she uses a proper username people well while I was at the computer shop I got the server reconfigured reloaded back up and running this is it right here just working on getting some data switched over from a real old server there over to this one try to use utilize this one as much as possible is the plan but I'm having a little issue with it none of this stuff can ever go smoothly I'm trying to set up anywhere access on this thing and it keeps complaining about remote desktop services saying that something's wrong with it even though I'm remote desktoped into it right now so I don't know what the problem is I don't understand well you remember when I told you I had remote desktop set up on the computer or on the server at the computer shop about that I messed it up I was trying to fix that problem and I messed it up. So now I'm back. Woo. I can actually talk because the business isn't going on and there's not customers up front and they're not like, oh my god, wait, you got someone in here? Talk. Yeah. So I can actually talk. But yeah, we had a slight accident, so let's see what happened.
Time to lock the joint up. And I'm heading out. I fixed the problem that I started, but I still haven't fixed the problem to where if you go to the web thing and you sign in for anywhere access, and then you click on the server, and you can rem it downloads a link and you can remote desktop, that part don't work, does not work. But if you go into, if you go to the actual physical app that's built in on the computers, if you go to it and then you type in the actual physical IP address of the server with the port number, you can remote desktop. So what the heck? Oh!